Greetings, it's Berkshire Guitar Amplifier Repairs here and I'm going to do a quite quick video today on how to bias the Fender Vibrolux Reverb. This has come in from a client who's had a go at biasing it himself and he says the bias pot is out of range. So I think that'll be quite interesting for us because it's all very well just sticking a bias probe on and twiddling the pot and getting the bias right. But quite often the pot is out of range and it needs the adjustment of a fixed resistor. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the amp around, get some bias probes on and power it up and see what the bias is looking like from my point of view and then we can take it from there. Okay I've got a couple of bias meters on the output valves here, 6L6GCs and they're running at about 400 volts so the correct bias current is about 50 milliamps on this. I'll put up a handy link to a bias calculator for you. So this is quite low, but of course we don't know where the bias pot is set. So in order to um, prove what's going on here, I unfortunately I'm going to need to take the chassis out, get it up on the bench, and then we can twiddle the bias pot and see what's going on. So I'll do that now. You probably don't need me to tell you this, but in order to get the chassis out, you have to disconnect these plugs and sockets. I always make a note of where they came from. Take out the speaker lead, which is this one here. And then also undo this cable tie here. I always put the screw back in the hole. Now I can take the chassis out by undoing these and these. OK, let's have a look under this amp here. A quick scan along. I'm noticing a few things here. I don't know if you are. We'll just do a scan first of all and then I'll come back to it. OK, now the first thing I notice is that all of these electrolytics here are originals and they are well past their uh, replace by date. So I'm going to recommend to the customer that all of these 25 microfarad 50 volts are changed. We also have an 80 microfarad 75 volt cap here, well past its expiry date, and that is providing the negative bias. It'll be working, but it's well overdue. Here's the bias pot here. So I'm going to have a little look to see which resistor we change. It's probably probably this one here, but I'll I'll worry about that when I've done some other changes. Let's have another look along here. Um, all, all original resistors here, most of them. That's been changed, that's a new one. There's the tremolo cell. I'll see if that's working. They tend to go faulty as well and you get a weak tremolo. All of these blue ones are original but they tend to be okay. I try not to change those. They are normally not leaky. It all looks fairly good. I think someone's changed a few resistors. These look non-original here. These ones, those are all original, all these carbon ones. We could check all the values of those. Here's 100k plate resistors for the preamp valves. I would like to check the value of those. Um, so all in all, this is coming for a bias job, but I need to get in contact with the client and say, look, you may need to think about spending some money on the amp we'll see what he says but the next thing I'm going to do is to flip this over and take the lid off the electrolytic capacitors and see if they are original if they are they will definitely need changing here we are top side of the amp and good news someone has been in here and changed all of the electrolytics so that's good that's a job that doesn't need doing 22 micros at 450 volts that's all good. Happy with that. Um, I suppose we could have a quick look at the state of the valves. What have we got here? I bet it's a motley selection. No, there's a couple of TADs there. They should be okay. What have we got, what have we got here? Electroharmonics. <laughs> um, 
some cheap Chinese knockoff with no markings on it. A G Sol. Never heard of that. G hyphen Sol. And the final one. Oh, we've got a JJ. So we do have a motley selection of valves here. I guess I'll ask him if he wants new valves whilst we're at it. Right, I've got to phone the customer now and see what he says. See how much money he wants to spend. I will revert and let you know what he says. Okay, I've just got off the phone with the customer and he does want me to go ahead and change these 25 microfarad, 25 volt capacitors and also this one here for the bias circuit. And he also wants a new pair of 6L6 GCs. So I'm going to do all that. Now this is going to be a bias video really that's turning into a bit of a revamp. So I think what I'll do since you're probably watching this to know how to bias the amp, I'm just going to change all these and then show you that they're done. And, uh, and then we can just go ahead and bias the amp and you can see how to do that. So it's basically a question of adjusting this pot obviously and if it's out of range we're going to start fiddling around with some fixed resistors. Okay so I'm going to plow ahead now and change these electrolytic capacitors and I'll show you what I've done when I've finished. Okay, I've replaced those capacitors now. One, two, three, four, five, 25 microfarads at 25 volts. I think that's it, yep. And I've also replaced the 100 microfarads at uh, 100 volts in this particular case for the bias. So what I'm going to do now is flip this the other way up and pop a couple of new 6L6s in with some bias meters and just see how this bias is now. Then we can see what we need to do about adjusting the bias if we need to. This is way out of tolerance, this pot. I'm not quite sure why. There's way too much negative bias voltage. So what I'm just going to do now is to investigate what happens when I mess around this resistor and I will uh, let you know what happens. My guess is, no, I won't guess. I'll just um, have a little play, then I'll report back to you. Okay, back again. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's standard or not without looking at the schematic. And reducing the value of that resistor reduces the negative bias voltage and increases the current. So if you want more current, reduce the value of that resistor. If you want less current, increase the value of that resistor. Now I'm just going to set the pot roughly mid-range. Don't need to be too clever. We're looking for about 45 milliamps bias current. And as you can see, I've got a couple of croc clips over that resistor and they come back to my resistant decade box. Very useful thing. Allows you to dial in different values of resistor. I've got just randomly 480k there at the moment, I don't know why. Here is the current, which is quite low. Now, as I reduce the value of this resistor, let's make it 280k or 180k, let's go for 80k. It hasn't come up very much, but let's see what happens. I'm just going to stick my screwdriver in the pot here and see if I can get a more sensible current. I'm turning it clockwise. See that current's coming up to about 28 milliamps now. So we want a bit more than that. I'm going to leave the pot on max for the moment. And let's see what we've got. 70k, 60k, 50k, 40k, 30k. Needs. Ooh, that went up quite severely there. That's okay, let's put that on. So I've got 20, let's make it 22k, that's a standard value 22k I've got 52 and 46 milliamps now sorry a bit of glare on the meters there and now I can back that off with the pot and bring it down I want I think I'm going to go for about 45 as you can see there's a few milliamps difference between those tubes that's perfectly acceptable you don't need to worry about that so I uh, yeah I'm going to set that about 40 and 44 or something on there that'll be fine that's good and the pot's got a fair bit of range i can turn it up full and it goes up to over 50 milliamps i can turn it down and it comes to 40. 
I'll have a quick look at the schematic actually and see what that resistor is supposed to be. Let me do that and get back to you. Let's just have a look on the circuit schematic here. And lo and behold, where are we? That resistor there is, I think you'll agree, 15K. Anyway, 15K is the correct resistor. So I'm just going to solder a 22K across that existing one. That's the easiest way out of this. And I'll just then double check the bias and we're good to go on this amp. Okay, there you go. I can see, you can see that I've soldered across a 22K resistor back down to our bias meters and we've got 44 milliamps and 40, which is perfectly okay. So I'm happy to call it a day on that. So just a reminder, if you want to increase, if the pot's out of range, set it into the middle. If you want to increase the bias current, decrease this resistor. If you want to decrease the bias current, increase this resistor. And of course, to do that, you'd have to desolder this resistor and put a larger value in. There we go, job done. Okay, there you go, a lovely amp. This uh, one of my favorites and it biased up beautifully. I hope you got what you needed from that if you're trying to bias your own amp. And uh, good luck with it, and I look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos. Thanks very much for watching.